This one will not be just burst, cannot be scared, showers to you, you don't hear before. This one I really mean, like. In every woman, there is a snake. A snake that lives in between her thighs. Tame it. And she will give you control over men. Who do you want to be? Now I am willing to go all the way. Hey, you are bad is our shower, aka night nurse worker. Now say they ready to sky be. Kasalafi boss at any time. Domitilla, my dear, is access to a world where anything is possible. I shall not be walking. I shall not be no be walk. So, my dear, seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be given to you. <laughs> oh, yes, I know you're like, tell me what's going on. Are you preaching? Is this if you know? I know you're like, tell me, are you here to preach? Mm. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just here to talk about. You know the themes that I love to talk about, which is movie for one, relationship for the others, and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to talk about the movie um, the Tiller. So if you're here for it, make sure you don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Yo guys, what's up? What's up? It's your girl Tess Brown, and I am back again on my channel Brown TV. This is Movie Mania, where I get to talk about movies. So I get to rant about movies, share my own personal opinion, and what I think, and you know, maybe hopefully get to read from you. So yeah, this is what we are doing. So let's, without further ado, let's just get straight to it. The movie. Um, was directed by Zeb Ejiro. Uh, it was written by Musa Jeffrey David and Divine Favor Noinyelo Obi. So there were about four producers on this one. Um, Owu Mazino Makana, Blessing Jessica Obazi Unze, Omani Oboli, and Seifumi Ogini. Uh, the production company involved in production of this movie were Zeb Ejiro Production, Film One Production and Dione Vision. It lasted about um, two hours. The language is spoken uh, English, Pidgin, and Igbo. Uh, I think there was a little bit of Yoruba because of some part of the cast. The movie released in cinemas across Nigeria on April 7th, 2023. Stars who featured in movies included Yabo Ojo, Stanunze, Demi Okolawo, uh, Tenyola Ladeshe, uh, Blessing Jessica Obasi Unze, Chioma Okafo, Uzo Amaka Aniyo, sorry, I really don't know how to pronounce that well, Onye Odokoro, uh, Shemu Ajayi, and Chiwe Talo Ago. I'm really all familiar with most of the cast, just a few of them, uh, Yabo Ojo, Demi Okolawo, Sanuze, uh, Tenyola Ladisha, and I think Chiwetalo Ago. Those were the ones I was familiar with, but they were like a lot of new faces. I really didn't, you know, I really didn't know. But uh, yeah, they was. Okay. I really tried to want to take out those things for me because I'm really bad at narrating, but let's talk about it. So, um, it was. The movie was majorly centered uh, um, around three ladies, three young women who had bigger dreams and uh, a bigger picture of a larger life and they wanted to, you know, become big people and, you know, take care of themselves for, and, the, and their family but they could barely do that because they were not financially capable. One who had um, a sick mother that needed to be operated on one who had um, big dreams about becoming a fashion designer and didn't want to just get married to an older woman um, another man from a village i wanted to take care of a younger one and 
the other one who was abused as a child and just you know fell into prostitution and these three came together to live under the same roof because they now work for one woman because they they all are one way or the other and they began to sell their bodies for money and it was brutal so there, there was this assistant that the woman had and she was tired of the life because it was really bad she even had to sleep with, a, with an animal and that was the point she realized that she doesn't want to do the job anymore so she tried to get her freedom but her boss was like there is no way you are living this life or else i'm going to tell your husband and i'm going to that family you are trying to protect i'm going to you know chatter everything it happens that they just got tired of being you know used and they realized that there's more to to the old thing it wasn't just prostitution it was a lot of criminal activities going on in the women's organization so they decided to work together to bring the woman down and they went to the police who, who, who has also been trying to get to the woman and they it all happened so fast and they were able to get the woman but some things were left unresolved so he, he was giving the vibe of maybe he was going to have a part two or something but Nah, it wasn't going to have a part two because they already explained what happened. Most of them were, were at, at serious loss at the end of the day. One thing I liked about the movie was that it exposed um, the crime world of the society. You know, it showed how deep crime has gone and eaten deep into the society. You can imagine uh the head of an orphanage selling out children for for money so it exposed um deeply the crime world in the society from um human trafficking child trafficking organ trafficking prostitution um corruption within the police and all of that and it, it kind of shines a light on these things and open our eyes to see that uh, there are a lot of things going on and uh, there is more to what we see than it meets the eyes so yeah so there is like a moral lesson attached to it like not just one like plenty of moral lessons there is always a consequence to whatever you are doing there is always a repercussion you decide to sell your body or you, for money there is always a repercussion at the end of the day no matter what it is it, there's always a better way the repercussion for every action the one that lost it she lost her friend she lost her best friend she lost her sister the one that was bound <laughs> and beaten seriously uh, because uh, her mother think it was it can only be demonic and yeah and the one that lost her family the same family she was trying to protect the police officer that lost his position because he was working with the crime lord and you know everybody had rewards and repercussions for their actions and yeah i like that it highlighted that so now let's talk about what i don't like about the movie and that is like the highlight for me i don't like the picture quality it was so poor i felt like i was watching another domitula from 1996 like the cinematography was poor it was not well put together it was just i was just like what is this the Hollywood movie industry has already set a standard that you cannot even afford to you know go below that standard anymore if you do then What's the point in showing that the oil movie industry is actually growing? In fact, in the issue of sequels, this is one sequel that just didn't do it for me. We've seen sequels now. We, look, even in Bondi, for example, is a proper sequel, like story la continual. That's what sequel is. Show the growth that the movie industry has experienced in the past years 
and it was it was an amazing production but for this one why did they even bother doing a sequel if this is what you are going to give us at the end of the day really? like no no it, it just didn't make any sense the settings the buildings the the police station everything i was so pissed i didn't even uh, be myself my friend was even sleeping i have to tap him out thinking that no you can't sleep you 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 brought us out here to see this movie and we must see it together we must endure this this pain together like no way you are sleeping on me because i was i went to see the movie late night around uh i saw the one that stayed here for 11 45 on the very day released in the cinema so the 11 45 the movie started after the old um um advert and all that the movie started around 12 midnight and ended around 2 2 in the midnight so it was um an hour like an hour for five minutes only so it was just so i was like ah, ah, ah. Hey, what like what's going on so i nah, no it didn't do it for me at all and that, that really pained me also the acting was mediocre it was really average we had fine actors in the movie Tenny Aladisha is a fine actor Yabojo, Game Yokola, Stanuze they are great actors but the um, but the acting was average for me it was it was just there like I didn't feel them I didn't feel that oh they are stars in this movie now nah. it was the actors are great actors but the delivery was mediocre it was nothing good and um, the music the score I, I don't know is there a way i'll talk about a movie and i'll not talk about it music because music and movies are something that gets me every time so definitely the score mm -mm, no in fact two over ten <laughs> It's crazy to me to remember what happened in the cinema. Seeing that movie, I don't want to see it again. No, I, I don't want to see it again. And the annoying part is, I heard on radio after I saw the movie that oh, the movie is actually in court right now for um, copyright issues or trademark issues that the initial Domitila was trademarked and you know there's the owner is asking for 50 or 500 million dollars or something like they play <laughs> they play because i don't know the movie doesn't do it for me at all there are a lot of things that just didn't sit right for me with the movie and now uh, but all in all, I'll still tell you to go and watch it. Support Nollywood movie industry. <laughs> it is a very it is a regular line of mine. So you should know that regardless of how bad or how trashy the movie is, you are going to have to go and see it. <laughs> because you have no choice. You have to support Nollywood movie industry because it's so easy to put money into something, honestly. <laughs> If I'm going to rate the movie, I'll give it a 3.5 over 10. And that is 3.5 for money, value, and E for effort. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what I think about the movie. If you have any um, idea you want to share, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. Mm, give this video a thumbs up at least. And if you don't want to thumbs up, it's fine. Just don't give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Drop me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. Make sure you share this video with your friends and save it if you need a part of it. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you again very soon on something you know pretty interesting. My name is Tessie Brown. You can follow me on social media at I am underscore just on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Do I really use Facebook? Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. 
I tell you, I'm going to just run in the handle, so I'll catch you again in another video. Stick around.